The repercussion of something like this will cost us a lot, especially in Abuja. First of all, this place that has been demolished is not anywhere on the road. Please, one house. It's not anywhere on the road or beside the road. Look at the faces of these people. I hate to stereotype, but it is what it is at the end of the day. What will happen after this demolition is terrorism, stealing, snatching of phones, killing people to collect things from their hands because these people will be desperate. At a time like this where the economy is not favoring anybody, people are suffering, the prices of things are going up and you are demolishing. Why can't you try another pattern by actually looking for people in your team to look for a pattern to, to create housing for these people, even if it's a cheaper housing, before you demolish. But you're demolishing and you're putting them on the street to go and do what? Are they going back to Borunu, where they are kidnapping, where they are bombing? Are they going back to Kano, where there is insurgency and everything? No, they will not go back. They will be here. They will cause another problem for us Yeah. So at the end of the day, it's so crazy that um, the elites are thinking that the poor people are not part of us. The poor people are your brothers and your sisters. While your, your daughters are at home, these people are other people's daughters and other people's sons. Look at the children, look at them on the ground. What are these kids going to be up? What are they going to grow up and be? Look at them on the ground. Look at them on the ground. No school for them again because their parents does not have anywhere to stay. If rain falls now like this, the rain will fall on these children and the rain will fall on these people. So, um, Nesom Wike, Honorable Minister, I don't know what you are using this land for. According to by strategy and according to the law, the only way you demolish is when what? Let by strategy explain that part. Public overriding public interest. Overriding public interest. Not to reallocate to another person. Good. Not to reallocate because we are entering here now, oh, estate and all that. I understand that you want to develop Abuja. Fine. We see the work that you have done. But in order to develop, you cannot just displace people. You have to create housing for them. We cannot live without the poor people. The poor people are the ones that will do some more jobs that you, the rich people, will not do. Say we can want pent. No. We can want uh, we can want the sweep road. No. So the people at the sweep road, they're going to say Basokoro. It makes no sense. So please, Honorable Minister, and I want to appeal to the President of the Federal Republic, Asiwaju Bola Metinubu, please, please don't let this uh, demolition go on. These people are not affecting any development in Abuja. Destruction is easy. Development is hard. Try developing. Let's see. It's not only to destroy. A few years ago, when we were staying in Dagba Area 1, it was demolished. We stayed under the ruin. I stayed under the ruin with my mother. We were looking for where to stay. There was no place for us to stay. We stayed there for days. So I understand what these people are going through. And guess what? Up to today, they've not developed Dagba. It's still like that. Do you understand? Oh. So this one now you have there, you are trying to pursue them because of maybe one of your friends, or I said maybe before and assume me. Maybe because of one of your friends or one of all these people that have given you money, maybe. Because it's always like that at the end of the day. So next one we can think about all these people and even think about all these children before you continue this act. It's because of the ongoing massive demolition in the FCT by the Honorable Minister of FCT, yes and we can. The reason why we have come to this particular location, there are four different demolitions affecting thousands, more than 15,000 residents of the FCT in this location alone. You can see here children who, who their parents are directly affected. You can also see that there is a victim. One of the victims was shot. He is here, he's here. The media have captured. He has just been brought from the hospital. He was shot on the leg. Property worth millions of naira. Shops have been destroyed. After the demolition, the FCD and the FCTA administration, they not only did they demolish, they burned properties here. As you can see, the media can go around to verify for themselves. We have come to, to identify with the poor people who are affected. And we, we, are, we, we have also been briefed. We were briefed just yesterday. We were briefed just yesterday by all the affected residents that we should take up their matter in court on their behalf. So we have come not just to sympathize, but to assess the level of damage, you know, that they have witnessed here with the intention of approaching the courts. But before we do, th do that next week, 
We are using this medium to appeal to the president, President Bola Metinubu, to consider the plights of FCT residents who are barely just surviving. Their goal is just to survive. Many of the residents here are people who were driven away from Bornu, from Adamawa, from Yobe, they, they, from Zafara. They reside because, because of insurgency and insecurity in the country. They, they, they live here. They work in the FCT. They are builders. They are painters. You know, they are shoemakers. You know, they are doing so much good work for the community. They are drivers. You know, and there is no justification. They help the security agencies in the FCT to prevent crime in the FCT. There is no justification for these demolitions, for the ongoing demolitions. These demolitions are unconscionable. They are too many. And we are appealing to the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces that, the, Mr. President, you must do something about this, that these people are harassed frequently by members of the FCTA administration. That we, and that we are sending a note of warning to people in government and the ruling elite that the only way they sleep and the ruling elite can sleep is if poor people are allowed to sleep. That, that when poor people are not allowed to sleep, that the rich in the society will not be able to sleep. True. We passionately make an appeal to the president that the pres president should impress upon the FCT minister yesterday week to stop destroying and demolishing poor people's homes and allocating to rich people. That there is no justification to demolish here and allocate it to rich people. That, the, that there's, no, there's no overriding public interest here. This is not the main road. You can see the main road is very far away from here. Why are you demolishing poor people's homes and allocating at the same time to rich people? Rich people should go to Asokoro, Guzape. They should go and focus there. This place is airport road, for God's sake. Why are you coming to take, take over poor people's land and allocating it to rich people? It does not make sense. In solidarity, you all know my brother and my, my uh, a, a great patriot, very dark man, is also here to show solidarity and several other comrades. Oh, like this, the rain will fall on these children and the rain will fall on these people. So, um, Nelson Mwike, Honorable Minister, I don't know what you are using this land for. According to by strategy and according to the law, the only way you demolish is when what? Let by strategy explain that part. Public, overriding public interest. Overriding public interest. Not to reallocate to another person. Good. Not to reallocate because we are entering here now, oh, estate and all that. I understand that you want to develop Abuja. Fine. We see the work that you have done. But in order to develop, you cannot just displace people. You have to create housing for them. We cannot live without the poor people. The poor people are the ones that will do some more jobs that you, the rich people, will not do. Say we can want pants. No. We can want uh, we can want the sweep road. No. So the people at the sweep road, men are going to say Basokoro. It makes no sense. So please, Honorable Minister, and I want to appeal to the President of the Federal Republic, Asiwaju Bola Metinubu, please, please don't let this uh, demolition go on. These people are not affecting any development in Abuja. Destruction is easy. Development is hard. Try developing. Let's see. It's not only to destroy. A few years ago, when we were staying in Dagba Area 1, it was demolished. We stayed under the ruin. I stayed under the ruin with my mother. We were looking for where to stay. There was no place for us to stay. We stayed there for days, so I understand what these people are going through. And guess what? Up to today, they've not developed Dagba. It's still like that. Do you understand? Oh. So this one now you have there, you are trying to pursue them because of maybe one of your friends, or I said maybe before Nasumi. Maybe because of one of your friends or one of all these people that have given you money, maybe. Because it's always like that at the end of the day. So next one we can think about all these people and even think about all these children before you continue this act. 